Okay. Hello there, everybody. It's Ryan. What's going on? And I'm here with Colossal in my Space Engineer's World Exploration Mode. And he's pretty new to the game, so I figured this episode can be a uh, little bit of a tutorial. Tutorial slash gameplay hybrid thing. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. So, do you have any questions that you want answered? <laughs> well, uh... I'm putting you on the spot. Oh, yeah, you are. Yes. Let's see. What was I asking about? You were talking about uh, projector blocks before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder if I can actually... I actually wonder if I have the material to build a projector block. And we can just do that right off the bat. Oh, that would I be a great I totally learning. do. I totally do. Let's build one. All right, sweet. <laughs> I'll need computer, motors, large steel tube, construction component, steel plate. I'm on it. I'm on it like hot bitches on Smarties. Never heard that or is one. it smart bitches on Smarties, not hot bitches on Smarties, because that wouldn't make any sense. Unless, you know, they're both I mean... <laughs> attractive and smart, but let's be honest, that doesn't really happen. <laughs> I, if you get lucky. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, oh shoot, I already forgot what about what I need to grab motors. I know I need motors. Construction component. Large steel tube. Where are you? Large. Large. Do I not have steel tube? I don't. I don't think I do. It's a good thing I can just produce some. I'll build yeah, 20. Cool. And then because of the conveyor system in this ship, I don't even have to go to the assembler to pull out the large steel tubes. I can just pull them right here. And I think that's all I need. Um, steel plate. Derp. The most basic so, thing of all. If the conveyor is connected to like a storage and like, okay, sorry. The storage and the assembler are connected, right? Yes. So if you have all your parts in store the storage mm -hmm. will it automatically transfer it if you uh like activate some sort of production that needs something yes it will although it can be kind of confusing because in the assembler if it doesn't actually have it in the assembler it's listed as red still but if you have the materials uh, in a connected storage it'll pull the resources in okay yeah that them. confused me because i was messing with that all right so if you want to come up to the top of the ship I will place this... Ah, oh, I'm floating off into space! Help! Okay, there we go. <laughs> right. Okay, that's where, the, that's where the gravity ends right there, because I still haven't fixed that. <laughs> I'm going to go a little further back here so that doesn't happen again. Anywho. Um, there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and build this. Damn it, I didn't grab computers. I need two computers. Just I'll two. be right back. Funny how two computers are also the other like uh forty three percent of its production. Well it's um it's not that, it's just uh it's like you need it goes from the bottom up and you weld it together. Like I don't really know how to describe it. It's just as it frame first generally, right? Yeah, it works when you weld it goes from the bottom up, so it just hasn't done the rest of the steel oh, okay. plates and see you can see well if you take your welder and mouse over it you see a okay. little line in the steel plates right now that's kind of yeah, the welding progress if you will see and then i, I welded a little saying. bit and that went up gotcha yeah so that's what that is i learned things from you yes <laughs> i'm smarticles this is a nice green block it is a nice <laughs> green it's a lovely shade of green oh you know what it would help a lot um, a control panel of sorts. I'm gonna actually gonna see what it takes to build one of those. I'll just slap it right onto the side of this thing. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. Ta-da! Simple. Yeah. Yeah, what, what blocks does it use? A computer and a construction component are all it needs, and apparently you can go without a display, which makes no sense to me. <laughs> How do you know what's going on with yeah, that? Yeah, like, how does that work? But You're just that smart. Video game logic. Yeah. I'm just going to roll with it. So, the projector. Projector. Oh, oh. I haven't done anything with it yet. I don't know what you're whooping. I lagged a bit. <laughs> oh. 
good though. It was just a temporary uh, thing. You know what? I'm actually gonna load up my uh, my frigate, that warship I was telling you about before I started the filming. It might just blow up. Come on, <laughs> come on, is game. Is that a good idea? <laughs> there it is. Oh, now now I'm freezing. This is not my fault. Okay. And this isn't exactly oh. how it would work, because in order to actually use the construction, the projector block, some part of the ship that you're building needs to be in contact with a projector block. So what I would have to do is I'd have to move, you can move the projection however you want, and right. say you wanted to build it up way high, you can just have a, uh, like a light armor column going up connecting to it. And then what happens is, right. from the point of connection, you can weld that, and it'll kind of trace you through the ship, and you build it piece by piece. So it's you don't even have to lay the framework, all you have to do is weld it together, and actually, if you start flying through it, it gives you like a little virtual um, oh. idea of what the inside of the ship is. So you can oh. actually see what you're building. It's really cool. That's really awesome. Yeah, so this is I've that. I've never seen a game like this. Yeah, no, it's. Like in any way. This is just awesome. It's just amazing. And then the airlocks are back here. And you can see all of it before it's even built. Oh, yeah. awesome. And this thing is just awesome in general. How long did it take you to make this? Um, like a couple hours. It took me. Oh. And it's I fully mean, functional? <laughs> it's fully functional. It works really well. And it took a couple hours, but a lot of that was, oh, I don't like this, and then I kind of redesigned a good chunk of it. Oh, okay. And I would run some tests. So, I mean, I built it pretty fast. But it, it works really nice, and I think I really like how the interior looks. And the exterior. I just like how it looks in general. It looks badass. Right. You see that giant turret in the front? Yes. <laughs> that is a sniper turret. It can one-shot, um, one or two-shot enemy uh, large ship thrusters. It can, yeah. like, two-shot heavy armor blocks, and it one-shots large light armor blocks. That is... So basically it's a giant-ass cannon that uh, does a lot of damage. And accurate. Yes, it's very accurate. But you know, this is the uh, that warship that I'm wanting to build in this world, and of course they got all sorts of Gatling turrets. Oh yeah. And oh, the the main Gatling. armament of this thing is on the front. Those those uh, cannons in there. Yes. <laughs> oh. That's nice. You haven't had an issue where you accidentally shot your own ship, have you? No. No. Well, that's good. No. <laughs> yeah, it, that doesn't happen. I have this arranged. Keep it just right, yeah. No, I really like this ship, but that's kind of a whole other video that I actually already did. I already did a run through of this ship. Although that video, I made a couple changes to the ship since then. I've added a couple, right. uh, a couple more forward thrusters, and I added a med bay that's in this, the command room here. Oh. So. This is really cool. Yeah, I like all the paneling that I used on to cover up the armor blocks. It looks nice. Yeah, it does. But anyway, that's essentially how... Uh... Actually, you know what? I will build a little armor block and show you exactly how this works. I don't really want to start building it now. Okay, yeah, so if you grab your welder and it wants to start... Um, if you back up, it looks a little bit darker than the rest of the ship on the different blocks that you could potentially start welding on. And if you walk up to it, oh, okay. or fly up to it with your welder, it'll tell you what you need to put into it. And you can just build it as if it was actually there. See, uh, isn't that nice? <laughs> that is nice. And as you build it, it, you know, traces through, and yeah. Now is, uh, do, does the projector only work for workshop items? Um, no. Or, uh, uh, well, you can, from uh, other worlds in general? Well, you can use it for workshop like ships that people post on the workshop, or just ships that you decided to save the blueprint of in like a creative world that you're screwing around on. Okay. So I have this. This is my warship. I'm actually going to load one of Angus's ships up in this. Um, projector. Actually, how. Uh, I, I don't know if you have any uh, blueprints available. Actually, I don't know how to make them. 
This is one of Angus's oh, ships well. that he built. That's interesting. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of cool looking, though. It is kind of cool looking. <laughs> is it functional? <laughs> it is functional, yes. But, uh, okay, yeah. That's, that's, what, that's my main concern. You know, I don't like the ships that just take off on their own. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm not one of those people that build gigantic ships and creative and do videos on it. I build, I like to build practical ships that would actually be feasible and survival. So my ship that I was just showing is uh, really practical. It's, it's fairly big, but it's not you know, obscenely huge. It's actually smaller than the, the blue ship. Right. But it's, um, I don't remember exactly what the the uh, mass of it was. I'm going to check the mass of this blue ship really quick. I'm sure it's at least four times as massive just because of all the stuff in it. Because it's pure heavy armor. Several layers. Oh, yeah. This large oh. ship is 1.3 million kilograms. And I want to say my uh, frigate is about four or five million kilograms. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a lot smaller, but it's very, very dense. Gotta be tough. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's how I built it. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna get rid of this projector block now. I mean, I don't have the resources. That's really cool, though. Yeah, the projector block is amazing. And there's a. Oh. Uh, what's up? Sorry. I was gonna ask. Uh, how do you save blueprints? Oh god, I forgot the key combination. But uh, you know what? Crap. What is it? I, I want to sh say it's Shift F10. But I'd have to check that. It's been a while since I was in creative. Alright. I, I don't you. know if you... They might have made it so that you can do it in survival, but... That's one of the things that I'm newer at. I really haven't done that much. But... Gotcha. Yeah, that seems really cool, though, that you can just, like, have a blueprint and use the projector to make it. It's, it's really simple, though. It's just, like, a shift F10 or something like that, and you, you save it, and then you can load it up later. It's something... Once you know the key combo, it's just... You point and click, pretty much. Right. I just, That's awesome. I just can't recall the key combo. If you know what the key I'm combo gonna... is, post it in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make use of that if I uh, find out. Oh yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. But yeah, so that is how projector blocks work mostly. And there's a large and small variant. But if you want to use small projector you have to build it from small projector blocks so what I usually do is I'll have a, just have a small ship landing gear attached to a large ship or a station platform and I'll build um, the projector block on top of that and it's a small projector okay. and from there you can build your your small fighter craft or what have you okay so there's that <laughs> oh you know what we yeah, should that's... do we, we should have you do some, we should do some flying lessons. <laughs> I mean, I'm not terrible at it. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a lot of but fun. I can't I promise can... uh, a ship surviving. That's okay. <laughs> we can always build another. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the resources for a, um, a passenger seat. <laughs> and I'll slap a passenger oh. on the seat under the ship that Ricochet gave me. <laughs> and, and I'm going to have you take that for a spin. And do like a right. fly through through the asteroid and see if we crash and die. It'll be wonderful. Oh jeez. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any other things you want answered really quick while I'm grabbing this stuff? I think that's about it for now. Uh, uh, to be honest, everything that I, comes uh, to mind right now. Not that I can think of. That's but okay. uh. Is this ship right here the one? Um, I don't know where the right there one? is, but... I, I think, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. I'll uh, go and look. To the side of the blue one. <laughs> oh wait, that's all your ships. Um... Yeah. Do they have like, does one have a red... Red yes. thing sticking out the bottom? Yeah, those Looks are like just... like a big red button. <laughs> yeah, those are ore detectors. We, uh, uh, it was off camera, but we, uh, these are actually shuttlecraft starting ships, and we equipped them with ore detectors and scouted around <laughs> all the asteroids in the area to find resources, and we oh, used nice. the GPS to, you know, mark the location and say what's in it, what valuable stuff is in it, and we forwarded the coordinates to each other. 
So we went oh, on a little sweet. scouting run, and that's what that's all that those are. It's just I was thinking about scrapping them, actually. Uh, or I mean, if you want one, you can have one. I don't care. We'll but, see, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see if you wreck this ship or not. Ah, uh, what was iron? That? Yeah, this is all iron. Oh wow! If you don't run out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, this little yeah, thing. I remember this. It looks nice. Yeah, it's maybe not for long. Well, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean, am I allowed to slow down? <laughs> I didn't catch that. So am I? Am I allowed to slow down, or is uh, is it a requirement full speed all the time? <laughs> you don't have to go full. Full speed is several hundred meters per second. <laughs> oh, okay. So that wouldn't end also, too. Also, uh. Access denied at the moment. <laughs> oh, I can fix that. If you ever get that, all you have to do is whip out your grinder, and you grind it until you meet the blue line. Sometimes the blue line and the red line are the same. The red line is the functional line, and the blue line is hacking. Okay. So all you have to do is do that, build it back up, and then... Uh, oh, look at that. We'll have permissions. Oh, so, yep. Okay, I'm on. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's take this thing for a ride. Oh, this thing turns quite nicely. Alright, where are we going? Wherever you want. Also, uh, I might have to focus on, like, first person mostly. <laughs> Just because my. I don't have a mouse wheel to zoom in and out. It's kind of terrible. Also, I'm going to try to avoid your bigger ships because damage to them would be a terrible Yeah, idea. I was going to say, if you're going to crash into anything, like. Just crash into the asteroid. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not aiming for your stuff, don't worry. Okay. Flight <laughs> school. <laughs> your only job is not to die, and if you die, it'll be funny. And the camera's really freaking out for some reason. I apologize if that's my doing in any way. I have another idea, actually. What's that? What I can do is I can put an antenna onto this thing. I can have an. I already have an antenna on the blue ship. I can have a camera on this ship, and I can view the camera on your ship while you're flying around while I'm on the safety of the blue ship. <laughs> Let's do it. You're, you're not concerned. <laughs> well, because it, it's right. just glitching around a lot, and it's kind of bad. Oh, okay, I get you. All right, I'm gonna care, I think you might have a bad connection, or maybe it's because I'm uploading a video. <laughs> I mean, could be a could possibility. Be. It is a possibility. Am I upside down? <laughs> I don't know what's right side up. It's I think... technically right side up now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, want to install camera on this thing? I was going to install a camera and an antenna, yes. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll park it there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just get it out for a second. Yes. Antenna, 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 antenna. Preferably antenna. I don't destroy it. Because it, I like it. It looks nice. Eh, I can build another one. Or have Ricochet build one. Because <laughs> that's his little design flair to it. I wonder if he's going to be watching this. I promise <laughs> that we may not maybe actually break your ship, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, There's no guarantee. No guarantees. I mean, he did give it to me, so you know. Uh, anything uh, in it? I don't think it has no. any cargo. It's probably it's, good. It's just. It was born to die. <laughs> um, construction. Although you did pretty good there. Computer, yeah, I, don't, I, think I don't think I'm terrible at it or anything. No. I mean, I, I made some mistakes playing. <laughs> um, let's see, antenna, antenna, where did you go, antenna? Dang it, I was just looking at you, what the hell? What the fuck? It's hiding for me. You know, I guess I could just use the search box. Uh, yeah, I love that search box. Alright, so oh, I got wait. the parts for Gold antenna. antenna. Interesting. Camera. Steel plate. Steel plate. Okay, I totally have the material now. Wait, 
I don't even know if they'll let me put a camera on a small ship. Oh wait, wait, no, I'm, I'm an idiot. I use it no, all the it time. Should. Yeah, I use it all the time. So I made some weird vehicle once. It's like a a ship slash ground vehicle. Those are fun. Did you use the uh, mass generators or what are they called? Yeah. I forget. Yeah. Yeah, the artificial mass. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely did, and uh, I got pistons on it and stuff. It's it's actually a really cool vehicle. It's not very practical, I'll be honest. Mm, got to start somewhere. But it's fun to mess with. Got to start somewhere with your designs. I might have to show you sometime because I have a uh, vehicle storage world where I just build stuff in creative mode and. If I like it, I leave it there. Oh, that'd be fun. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's the antenna. I was like, what is this block? Yeah, that's the antenna. I'm not sure if this will work, because technically, when I access the ship through the antenna, I'm controlling it. Although, it, oh, I didn't give it oh, a remote wait, control block. What? You can control ships through, like... Yeah. Yeah. Not being in it. That's yeah, awesome. I I use drones for a bunch of different things. I mean, I haven't done anything in my videos with it yet, but no, it's, there's a remote control block, and you have these little drones flying around. You know, in my intro video, awesome. I think I had my very first Space Engineers video. I think I had a couple of them on there. Oh, okay. But you can use them as like little combat drones and stuff like that. Yeah, that would be a safer way to take out like military convoy turrets. <laughs> yep. I've even seen a. I haven't built one myself, but you can build a drone that can deploy warheads, and set them to detonate. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, much safer, and you're hidden. Oh, also, how do warheads work? I oh, I threw them on a ship once, and I was let's not play with sure warheads. Screw this. Let's play with warheads. Or even even better, you could put warheads on this little thing. I can drop them off on a meteor. That's, well, that's true. Although this video is getting a little bit long, so we oh, might want to actually split this up into two. So, <laughs> yes, let's do that. What is to be done this time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're we're going to get ourselves in trouble. Got to control myself here. I'm no, getting too excited about all the possibilities. All the things, OMG! <laughs> I do that all the time in my videos. I'll just get so distracted. I'll be doing something and go, ooh, what's that over there? And I'll just yeah, yeah, I noticed that. And get off course. It's bad. Space Engineers ADD. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This is Ryan from Stromboli Games signing off.